So, here's the bus. And today, I want to take those off the roof. They're too big, they're in the way, they're too cold, and we just don't need them. So that's the plan for today. So it sounds good in theory, but to get this off the roof, leaves a bloody big hole. And worse than that, sealing that hole was made difficult by a lip. So, I'm gonna have to cut that off. Need to give it a bash. So the good news is we've now got a big hole in the roof. The bad news, however, is that we've now got a big hole in the roof. Gonna need to sort that. So, we have a hole in the roof. We have two, but only this one's ready. So to fix it, we're gonna need some tools. Let's have a look at those now. First up, a nice piece of stainless steel. That's going to fit perfect. Seal it up, never rust. Thanks, Paul. We'll need a drill to drill the holes in the steel. Then we'll need a rivet gun and some rivets. But we'll need to seal it, so we're going to need a corking gun and sicker flex. I've gone for Sikaflex 11 FC. And that there will stop water coming in. If all goes to plan. So each hole needs to start with a center punch. I haven't got one. So I'm using this. I'm never going to countersink holes. Could be famous last words. So I'm using this countersink, nice and hard tip on it. See how that goes. So a center punch like I've got here stops the drill from wandering. Otherwise, when I do it, it's just going to roll around, never actually drill a hole. So having a center punch gives it a starting point so that it's got somewhere to be and it doesn't go from anywhere from there. I've drilled some 3mm pilot holes. Now I'm going to drill them out to 5mm to take my 4.8mm rivet. finished with Sikaflex, my favorite new friend. Here's the far one. You can see a bit of my new solar racking as well. Thanks for watching and hopefully catch you on the next video. Take care.